Okay, we're up to movie number six, and we're seeing that we're up to something special. And this is something I was talking to you, uh, I mentioned more than talking to you about last last movie. And what we're doing is we're looking at accelerating. So far, we've looked at we can measure how far something moves and the time it takes for it to move. We can show all that information on a line graph. We know now that the line graph tells us a story and we should be able to work out the story it's telling us. From the angles of the lines and whether they're straight or whether they're curves and which way they move. Are they moving towards me or away from me? In the last one I said sometimes we get things that change their speed. And when we have something like that occurring, we have accelerating or acceleration happening. All right, so I'm not going to read this to you, but I'm just going to say to you there are two types of accelerating. We can be speeding up or slowing down. Now, I know we've all been in a plane, and we have two examples of when we're taking off and when we're landing. When we're taking off, the plane has to change speed. It has to start off from not moving to having enough speed to fly. Now we all know the feeling of that whenever we're on the plane and the pilot pushes the engines or accelerates, we know that we feel ourselves being pushed back into the seat. All right, That's because the plane is gathering speed and changing speed going from a zero to whatever speed it is we need to fly. Now the reverse happens when we land. We're travelling nice and quickly, maybe three or four hundred kilometres per hour. And then we have to stop to zero. So slowing down, there is also accelerating going on. So we can have it both ways. So, what is acceleration? Well, it's changing speed. Now, it's, we saw how speed was how far we move divided by time. Well, acceleration is how much our speed changes divided by how long it took to change the speed. So, let's have a look at the first one. It says, for cars traveling from 60 to 100 kilometers per hour. All right, so its speed has changed. It's risen by 40 kilometers per hour. It has accelerated. But the same thing is if a car has to go from 60 km h to zero, in other words, it's going to stop, the speed has changed. All right, so the speed has changed again, and it took a certain amount of time to do, so we can work out how much acceleration happened. Now, we're not going to concentrate a lot on the calculation. But if we were, we could say that acceleration equals change of speed over time, or if you like, the speed you end up at, minus the speed you were, over how long it took you for that change of speed. That would be a tricky question though, and I'm not quite sure whether we're going to do that. I don't think we are. So, the even trickier things, when we saw speed, we saw it was meters per second. In other words, how many meters we moved every second, and m slash s. Now it's trickier, because we're doing speed, which is meters per second, and then how it changed per second, our units now become m slash s squared, or meters per second per second. <gasps> That's terrible. It's hard. It's difficult. Maybe for later. Well, on that note, we'll finish.